to another video. Today I'm going to be analysing my race from last week. Uh, that was the the British Cycling Youth Race Series Round 3, I believe. That was my first race. I hadn't raced Rounds 1 and 2. Uh, so, pretty happy with my result. First time I raced people um, my age, pretty much. So, I'm going to do a short race analysis because it, it was an hour long stream and you guys can't be bothered to watch an hour of the stream. So, when I actually got in, uh, to the starting pen. I, was, I think it was around 20 minutes for the start, even though I only started the stream with 14 minutes to go. And 14 minutes to go, there are already 113 people, so I was well, well behind uh, in the pen. I'm going to try and show you an angle of that here. And there you go, you can see I'm quite far behind already. And so I'm going to skip to the start, and as you can see, um, that means it's quite hard to get in a good position from the start, and you have to put in an even bigger effort. And as with races, you're putting in a big effort. Uh, to get to the start, to get to the head of race, uh, to get to the head of the race, to make sure uh, you're not split from the main bunch. Um, there are even bigger splits in this race because it was anyone kind of up to 18. It was a youth race. I reckon the youngest person might be in 10, 11, that sort of thing. Um, so just to the race, we had to go up the forward KOM, and I'm probably a bit heavier than some of the other riders. I was struggling a little bit on the climbs. It wasn't too bad. But, you know, I had to put in a bigger effort and I felt uh, more dominant on the flats, I guess. And then I got dropped from the the, f the head of the race on that forward KOM because then you had uh, the big guys really putting their effort on the front. So I was sort of in a group with from 20th to 35th place, pretty much. That was rotating pretty well, uh, everyone doing their bit. And then the next bunch back... Another another ten seconds behind, but that gap only grew. Um, yeah, uh, um, so um, um, the race was twenty eight kilometers, so medium distance race among the Zwift races. Pretty short time wise because it was only 40, 40 minutes that sort of thing. Because these Zwift races are pretty fast. There's uh, two laps to go. All right, here we are with one lap to go. Um, yeah, so I almost got dropped on a couple of the climbs again. Here, I'm going through nicely. Up the forward KOM, a little bit towards the back of the bunch, had to put in a bigger effort here. Uh, that all went all right. And then towards towards the top, it was a little bit broken up because, you know, obviously different people are good at different things, especially at different weights. So it was right in the flats towards the front, going th rotating through the group nicely. So the main focus of this is going to be on the sprint because that didn't go quite to plan. It was all right. So, <laughs> so here we are with three and a half kilometers to go just over these cobbles here okay at the sprint with two and a half kilometers to go uh, i'm in 24th 23rd 22nd position uh, in this bunch then here was the kind of final climb where it could really break up before the end thankfully it didn't um so we were back on the flats i even Try to go for a little breakaway, but then, uh, not, not a proper breakaway, but just me and one other guy, uh, me and D Kemp. So if you're watching D Kemp, we didn't quite get that, did we? Um, so then we were caught or kind of reeled in because we didn't really get a proper gap. And then we, here's one 1k to go, and it was all still together, and I think we had everywhere from 20 to 27th, 28th place in this bunch. Maybe even a bit more. And then, with 0 0.5 kilometers to go, uh, still towards the front, but not right at the front because you don't want to be doing the work in the last few hundred meters. And then, you know, if you have raced on Zwift before, you will know that with 300 meters to go, it starts ticking down like 299, 298, uh, etc. But I thought as soon as it clicks from um, 4 to 3, so 0 0.4 to 0 0.3, it started counting down. That's actually the end of 0 0.3, so I went too early, as you can see, uh, just as it hits 0 0.3, I get out the saddle and start putting in a big sprint. Uh, uh, so yeah, then I'm just kind of going for it. 200 meters to go, I'm still out in front, putting out some pretty big watts for me, 750 watts, and then there, 100 meters to go, I'm caught, so I probably would have just made it if I went 100 meters later so that is a shame uh, 50 meters to go a total of five people passed me 
And then you think I'm going to get 24th position, but I don't. Because I actually get 19th position because some people were probably weight doping or something and Zwift caught them out. Or it was a mistake and I actually should have finished 24th. Uh, either way, I officially finished final on 18th, not 19th. 38 minutes and 8 seconds with an average power of 293 watts, 4.8 watts a kilo. Uh, I don't think I was maximized, I think because the power was all, all over the place, up and down, the bits of respite, and on the climbs I had to go harder, and I could rest a little bit on the flats, so uh, that could have been a little higher, I guess, not much, because I didn't have uh, much left, so I was pretty happy with that. There's a small uh, warm down, um, so I hope, and also, so tonight I'm gonna be this should come out around midday on Thursday the 16th, I think it is. I hope I'm going to time my sprint better, and I like sprinting from small groups because uh, I have a, a decent kick. I'm not definitely not a, a good sprinter, but I'm pretty average for a sprinter. And um, I try my best to conserve energy in the last little bit, so just to keep something for the sprint. Uh, yes, yeah, so I, I listed up a bit too early on this one. Still very happy with my 18th out of 135, I think it was in the end. Thank you for watching this, and uh, feel free to tune into tonight's stream. I'll be streaming at either 6.30 or 7.30. I don't know, I'll still have to confirm that. But if you would like to know, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so exactly when I'm going live with my next Zwift race. Until then, catch you for the next one. <coughs>